You're watching Seatome TV. Knowledge is power. So triple negative breast cancer is where you do not have an abundance of any of the receptors. In other words, you don't have an abundance of the HER2 receptor. You don't have an abundance of the estrogen receptor. You don't have an abundance of the, um, uh, the progesterone receptor. Now, there's also another case of cancer, uh, which is called triple positive, where you have all three receptors. Um, we don't really have time to cover it today, but I just briefly want to say about triple positive, if you do have triple positive, it's very important to have dual therapy. So you treat it like you would treat a HER2 and a estrogen positive breast cancer together. So you take the drugs for both of those cancers together at the same time. And so we can, we can do another um, presentation just on that subtype, but for now we're gonna do a uh, triple negative. So triple negative, as I mentioned, um, you do not have an abundance of those. Um, Triple negative is the most varied of all breast cancers. There's, very, there's a lot of different uh, subtypes um, and a lot of, there's been a lot of work on it, but recently uh, what's happened is they've been able to break them down into genetic subtypes. Now you can only tell which type of triple negative uh, breast cancer you have by doing tumor DNA sequencing because the subtypes are based on the different genes that are overexpressed or underexpressed that cause the actual subtype. And so um, to generalize, uh, there's what we call, uh, there's about seven different subtypes now. There's the basal-like, there's the non-basal-like, there's the immune modulatory, which means that immune therapy can work really well on those. There's the angiogen receptor where, um, you know, uh, prostate cancer drugs, it has overexpression of the angiogen receptor, which causes prostate cancer. Um, and then prostate cancer treatments work best for that subtype. Um, there's uh, some that have something called EGFR mutation, um, uh, which can be targeted. Um, so briefly, the subtypes, um, I'm going to read these out to you. There's what we call the basal-like one. And this has alterations in genes involved with uh, protecting your damage, uh, your DNA damage response. And so drugs such as Pacotax or chemotherapy drugs or PARP inhibitors um, like a Laparib or um, what we call um, uh, other DNA chemotherapy drugs such as uh, cisplatin or renotecan work the best on the basal-like one. And so to determine if you have the basal-like one, you need to do genetic testing. Uh, there's also the basal-like two, um, and there's certain signaling pathways in there, um, such as uh, EGFR and MET is another gene that's often altered in that particular subtype. Um, so the drugs that work well for that, the chemotherapy drug cisplatinum, PARP inhibitor, which is a targeted therapy called Olaparib, um, is important there. Um, and then there's growth factors. There's a whole list of different targeted therapies, such as lotinib, afatinib, and so on. Um, they're called tyrosine kinase inhibitors. Um, and there's mTOR inhibitors, um, such as everolimus and so on, that can work really well for, for that. Everolimus is an mTOR inhibitor that has been approved for estrogen-positive breast cancers, but it can also be effective in the basal-like too. Now there's also the IM, which is the immune modulatory. Um, and this is one that has an overactivation of genes involved in the immune system. And so this is a, this is a great target or this, this particular subtype means that you could get a significant benefit from the new immune therapy drugs, uh, the epilumumab and nivolumab and pembrolizumab. And so that's a real game changer because these drugs um, are really a huge advance in cancer treatment. We're always looking for patients that um, will respond to these drugs. There's certain key molecular features that we look at that determine whether these drugs will work. And if those patients have this, then we want to get them on there. They're the preferred treatments because when people do take these immune therapy drugs, they tend to get incredibly long remissions and, you know, and cures in many cases. We've, you know, we've seen many people cured with immune therapy drugs. So if you do have an immune modulatory um, subtype of triple negative breast cancer, you want to know because then you can go on these immune therapies and that's going to make a huge difference in your life. We also have the mesenchymal subtype. And so um, certain drugs like everolimus can work for that. Um, there's a targeting of the PIK pathway. 
mTOR pathway. These are all genes that you're probably not going to know about, but they have targeted drugs available. For example, there's a new drug called Alpelisib, which is also, we didn't discuss an estrogen positive breast cancer, but it's, uh, it's one that um, works against uh, mutations in the PIK pathway. It's only been around here in Canada for the last uh, two, three months. But if you have any type of breast cancer, including estrogen positive breast cancer, or if you have the mesenchymal subtype of triple negative, then this particular drug, Alpelisib, can work incredibly well for you. Um, we also have another one called the mesenchymal stem-like one, stem cell type. Um, and there's certain drugs involved with uh, treating lymphomas and blood cancers that can work really well for this. Um, there's also a pathway called the PIK alpha pathway um, uh, and beta pathways. Um, and so there's a class of drugs that tend to work quite well. Uh, there's uh, what we call um, desatinib, uh, SARC inhibitors, uh, bosicinib, um, that can work well for this. And then there's the LAR one, which is known as the angiogen receptor positive one. And so this is the one where you want to use the uh, anti-angiogen drugs. So that's a brief overview of triple negative breast cancers. Typically, if you're going to be diagnosed with triple negative um, in Canada, you're going to be given chemotherapy and they're not going to look at what subtype you have. So it's very important that you learn what subtype you have um, and then you know what's going to work and what's not going to work. And that includes chemotherapy as well as uh, other targeted therapies uh, based on the specific mutation. So once again, tumor DNA sequencing and expression testing key to uh, getting the right treatment at the right time. Thank you for watching Seatome TV. Subscribe below and stay informed.